Okay, a very brief introduction to the climate systems and policy cluster, uh, so which broadly covers the physical climate and biogeochemical bio processes, impacts and adaptation to climate change and mitigation policy. There's a variety of um, units or research groups which of uh, the work of which uh, falls into this cluster, including um, the Redcliffe uh, Meteorological Station, the Climate Research Lab, the ECI, and the Water Research Group. Um, there are strong links to other uh, large in, uh, interdisciplinary uh, programs such as the UK Climate Impact Program or the Macronutrients Cycles Program, as well as the Oxford Climate, Energy <coughs> and Water uh, Network. If you want to know more about the climate network, then Pete Walton, who is somewhere here, uh, is your point of contact. Now, um, Miles Allen and Simon Detson are going to talk um, uh, a bit later on. So I'm in the next two slides, I'm just showing uh, or going to talk about what's uh, going on in the Climate Research Lab, which is jointly run by Miles Allen and Richard Washington. So Miles Allen's group uh, tries to tackle the question whether or to which extent um, anthropogenic climate change alters the probability of extreme weather events, known as attribution studies. And they do this by uh, analyzing large uh, climate model ensembles, which are run on uh, thousands of computers at uh, people's homes, uh, through the climate prediction.net uh, weather at home uh, program. So there's a long list of uh, projects related to this. Um, and uh, what we see here is just a, an example of the, for instance, the anomalously high surface temperatures uh, in summer 2013, which is the focus of uh, one of these uh, studies. Now, the work, uh, the group of Richard Washington has a strong focus on, on African climate processes, in particular um, the study of uh, mineral aerosols, including dust and rainfall. The dust projects uh, have a strong observational component, uh, which is combined with remote sensing and the analysis of climate models. Um, as, and the, uh, rich, um, sorry, uh, Ian Ashpool will go, go, is going to talk a bit more about uh, uh, one of these dust, pro dust work. Um, the rainfall work is primarily based on the analysis of uh, climate and uh, nu uh, numerical weather prediction models. And for instance, Impala is a project which closely works with the, in, uh, with the UK Met Office in order to improve their model for Africa. And this is just an example of, um, of uh, the representation of rainfall over the Congo Basin in the CMIP-5 models, which is um, uh, global models uh, from different groups around the world. And we see large differences between them, but we don't really know what, uh, uh, which one is right or wrong or what causes these large discrepancies. Um, here. And last but not least, I would like to point out that the server in the department hosts the Clivar uh, Vax African Climate Atlas, which is a web page which allows you to interactively plot and partly analyze um, selected fields from the CMIP 5 data set as well as reanalysis data sets. And with that, I'd like to pass on to Ian. <coughs> 